Hallelujah. God bless you. I do hope that you're having a beautiful day today. Um, I'm here with my beautiful son, Aaron, who's not very old. <laughs> and if, yes, two and a bit days old. Um, maybe three days old. Three days old, I think. Yes. <laughs> it's three in the morning. So God bless you. Now, <laughs> I actually want to preach from Genesis 22. And this is with Abraham. Once again, Abraham. Now, we know that Abraham waited 25 years for the promise of God to come to fruition. And he, was, and he had this beautiful son, Isaac, when he was 100 years old. So this son now was a bit older, not a newborn anymore, but the Lord tested him. And this is in Genesis 22. And it says the following. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. Then he said, Take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall tell you. So the Lord specifically instructed him to go to a place called Moriah, specifically to one of the mountains there. And he was to sacrifice his son, Isaac, whom he loved. He loved him very much. I had waited a long time for this son. Wow, what a test. What a test. My goodness. Now, this obviously points to Jesus. You know, the father sending his only begotten son, to die for us. This whole, this, this all points to Jesus. It's so beautiful. Well, he, verse six. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father and said, my father. And he said, here I am, my son. Then he said, look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Okay. At this stage, Isaac didn't know that it was actually him who's going to be the burnt offering. Then when they came to the place which God had told them, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him upon the altar, upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Oh my goodness. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, here I am. And he said, do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by its, by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide, as it is to this day in the mount the Lord, it shall be provided. Okay, so here at this place, which is known as the Lord will provide, which is Jehovah Jireh. Well, Jehovah is, is actually a westernized term for YHWH. But this place, the Lord called Jehovah Jireh. Well, if you go to something like Wikipedia and you look up where Mount Moriah is, where it's believed to be, 
it's actually part of Jerusalem. And you think to yourself, this is the spot where Jesus went to be crucified. He specifically set his eyes upon Jerusalem and went there knowing that he would be crucified. And I guarantee you that place called the Lord will provide speaks about Calvary because that's where the Lord provided the sacrifice for us because the Lord didn't want to actually slay Isaac. He doesn't, didn't want that. Thank goodness. But the Lord willingly offered his son. The Lord provided the sacrifice for us. Yes, he provided a ram for, for Abraham in place of his son. Okay. And for us, Jesus is the lamb that was slain for us. Right? He was the one who paid the price. The father provided his son, Jesus, to die for us. Hallelujah. This points to the Lord. It does. It, it's such a beautiful passage. And because of his obedience, because Abraham was willing to, you know, even lay down his son whom he loved. Right? Verse 15. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Wow! Right? Such a blessing was bestowed upon Abraham because he obeyed the voice of God. He had that absolute obedience, that absolute trust in him. Hallelujah. I mean, trusting him even to the point where he was willing to you know, forsake his own son. My goodness. Like loving the Lord that much. Right? But thankfully, our Lord loves us passionately. And does not delight at all in you know us in human sacrifice thank goodness right? he loves us and and adores us but i'm just so blessed that that points that that points to christ that absolute obedience and praise the lord that's genesis 22 and it's a beautiful passage and look and there's my beautiful son, and he's asleep, he's asleep, hallelujah. God bless you wherever you are, praise the Lord. Yes, these messages are a bit short at the moment, but God bless you heaps. <laughs>